obviously looking forward to our second year in this transition. I think we had a great experience last year. We were challenged every day, um, but I think now we know what we're, we have gotten ourselves into, so to speak. So I think we're going to be a little bit more prepared um, with regards to what our competition will look like and what we need to do in preparation to be successful. Well, I think it's the details. I think that's what we're really going to focus on this year. I think we looked at the big picture last year of just enjoying the first year in Division I, really enjoying the experience as a whole um, and making sure that we prepared to be competitive every game. Uh, but this year, I think we'll be more, we'll pay more attention to the detail in order to get the result that we want. Being disciplined on the field, um, disciplined on the ball, uh, disciplined in our in our practice sessions. So I do think that discipline comes in. Obviously, accountability. I think overall we need to be accountable in in every I guess facet of our of our athletic lives. I would say you know right down to the details of pregame meetings, making sure that we're paying attention, listening to um, what you know what the coaching staff is bringing. Number three, consistency. I think last year we were a bit inconsistent um, over the course of the season, and we will be challenging ourselves to be a bit more consistent in, in each and every game and each and every practice. We have three transfers that joined us in January, another transfer that's joining us this fall, and then eight incoming freshmen. And we're really excited about them. They all have a solid field hockey background. A lot of them have played for the top clubs in the country. Um, I think that will bring something that we haven't really had in the past few years, just because we've done a lot of local recruiting. And this is our first class that's really, you know, primarily from out of state and even out of the country. This year, it's gonna be a lot different than it has been in years past, just because of the large freshman class that we have coming in and the transfers, but um, a lot of them have been coming to different things that we've been doing this summer just as a team together. So I think the chemistry will start flowing as soon as we're all in preseason together. And I'm really not worried about it. So I think we're all just very excited to have new players that are experienced that can just push us as upperclassmen as well as us pushing them. Well, we're really excited to have Bianca Jones back. She tore her ACL and she will be a redshirt senior for us this year. Um, and I do think that she'll provide some leadership on the forward line, along with Georgia and Ellie, who were both named to the all-rookie squad last year for the America East Conference. We definitely are looking forward to them um, with a year under their belt, really providing us some leadership and, and some scoring prowess that we maybe didn't have last year, just because of, I think, of our inexperience. Um, that will definitely change this year. And then in the backfield, Carrie Dresser, along with Jess Walsh and Marzana, who are one of our transfers, that I do think that they were really tested this spring as well, and they showed a lot of team chemistry and camaraderie back there. And I do think that our backfield line um, will be exciting to watch because I think they'll be our most experienced line overall. Well, last spring we worked a lot on our individual skills and um, I think that's really key for Division One. Almost every team has each player very skilled and very strong on the ball. And um, I think just our fitness overall and our strength, we really worked on getting stronger and I think that's gonna help us in every aspect of the game.